it's like my mind constantly tries to find why somebody would even do this. The law itself. Where does it even come from? There are many groups of people in the United States who have never, in fact, been recognized as full persons under the law, as full members of our constitutional community. And one of those groups is pregnant women. Tammy Lacher was a woman living in rural Wisconsin who went to get health care for a thyroid condition and for depression and because she thought she might be pregnant. At the time, I felt it was important to go in and get prenatal care. I was not in a good place, a good place like emotionally. I wanted to be better for myself and better for my possible child. The hospital did a mental health screening of her. She was being honest and talked about previous drug use, not an addiction, not a substance use disorder, but previous some previous drug use. Somebody at the hospital reported her and accused her of unborn child abuse. Then I ended up in jail. Wisconsin's Act 292 is the only law like it in the country. There are laws in other states that criminalize women and pregnancy, but this is the only one that in a secret proceeding in the juvenile court allows for the court to take custody, physical custody, of a pregnant woman and lock her up. Under Act 292, the fetus, or even the fertilized egg, has to be appointed a lawyer and the woman herself is not entitled to a lawyer at the very important early stages of the case where she can be detained against her will. I don't understand how the state feels like locking a woman up who's pregnant and punishing them is helping them. I, I don't understand why they think that that's helping. Well, there's no way to establish separate rights for fertilized eggs, embryos, and fetuses, as we see in Wisconsin, as we see under Act 292, without depriving pregnant women of virtually every right we associate with being a constitutional person. National Advocates for Pregnant Women is Tammy Lacher's lawyer in her federal case, challenging the constitutionality of Act 292. We are co-counsel with the NYU Reproductive Justice Clinic and with the Perkins Coie Law Firm, Madison, Wisconsin office. Tammy has a very large team of lawyers and support behind her. Reporting baby because he tested positive. I do feel like I had some support. Uh, I feel like um, the National Advocates for Pregnant Women, they helped tremendously and very thankful for their help and for not just myself, they help so many other people. Ms. Lacher continues to be affected by what happened to her in Wisconsin, by her being prosecuted and charged with unborn child abuse. But she is soldiering on. What is he doing? I'm here, and I have a beautiful son, and he's going to be three soon. And I'm so proud of him. Can you name them all for me? He's smart, he's lively, and she's a terrific mother. She is so brave to take on this fight on behalf of all women in Wisconsin who have been affected by this terrible law and who might be in the future. I'm not doing this for attention. I'm doing this so that it doesn't happen to anybody else.